Okay, uh, welcome to uh, video vlog number nine for Challenge Copenhagen race. Um, this time we're going to talk about race preparation. And the reason we are uh, scanning the area here is for you to have a look at it. And that is kind of the, the same thing as when you prepare for a race. We've a little bit up in height so we can overlook the area. Um, and it's like seeing a map. And it's kind of the same thing that you've done in your preparation up to the race, that you've drawn up a map in a way so that you have a very, very clear understanding of every detail that you have to go through on race day and every detail should be worked over and trained at again and again and again in training. That idea or that, that uh, feeling of being prepared, of having a map over what you're going to do so you know every specific detail is very important for your race. Um, you, you can say that the more details you've gone over in training, the more things you've planned ahead for, the more energy you will have in the moment um, to enjoy the race and to uh, go through the challenges you will face there. Uh, if you start worrying about you know, your nutrition or uh, the, the, how you're going to set your transition up and so forth, that is just going to be energy spent in the wrong way. So the better you prepare for every detail, the more energy you will have in the race. Um, that's a one key point. The second thing is that coming into the days up to the race, obviously you will taper down your training, you will rest more, um, you will maybe do a race specific workout every three days or so, and in between then you will have good sleep and have uh, good nutrition, but not, all, not, not a lot of nutrition, but just what you need, but good quality. Um, and you will just generally calm yourself down and take some time off to reflect and relax. Um, that's what I usually have done before my races, that you know, once you have every detail in the preparation fixed, you can just take your time to get down in stress levels and, and just uh, build your energy, so to speak. Um, if you encounter any unforeseen problems, which will probably happen, best thing is to just you know, deal with it and get on. Don't need to fuss about a lot of things. Obviously, you'll be in a hype mental state, um, but best thing is just deal with whatever comes along and then move forward. Could it be travel delays or whatever? Take it easy. Uh, usually it all works out in the end um, and you can just rest calm within yourself um, about what you're going to do. Um, so that's, that's it and, 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 and just in the days uh, prior to the event. Um, and basically having this focus on details is important all the way through. In regards to the days after the race, usually some people get very nervous and so forth and obviously the, 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 the preparation is going to help you tackle this. And some people have trouble sleeping before the race uh, and the night before the race and that's perfectly fine as long as you've slept well uh, in the days up to that. You won't have any worries about having too little sleep uh, at the night before the race. Just get some rest and that's fine. Um, and then as you approach Obviously, you have to have a very uh, develop a very clear, um, a clear set of expectations for yourself. What is your goal? Is it to finish, or are you chasing a certain time, or is it to finish in a certain way, um, and so forth? And these goals should be based on the training you've done. There should be a very realistic connection between the training and what you've performed in your training, and what you expect of yourself on race day. Now, obviously, normally we can always expect more from ourselves on race day, and it's very few that. Uh, should do or have done an Ironman in training because that's way too strenuous. Uh, so obviously you're going in for a challenge that is bigger than anything you've done in training. But hopefully you have an idea of what is the pace that I can hold on the bike for 180k and, and still come off being relatively fresh so I can run a marathon. Um, and hopefully you've trained enough to, uh, to achieve that state of, of feeling prepared. And you should base your expectations off that. So. Let's say you're, you have done a few races and you come into this race and you wanna, you're chasing a personal record. Would, if that's not shown in your training, then maybe it's time to adjust that goal down a little bit. Um, or the other way around, if your training is going exceptionally well, maybe you should start thinking about, hey, maybe I can do this even better. Maybe I can set up you know, higher my expectations. So that's all part of it. Um, the second thing you can do, uh, or third or fourth thing you can do coming into the race is look at how your tension level is. If you're very hyped up and you're nervous, the best thing you can do is to repeat the things you've done to prepare and then calm yourself by doing some breathing exercises, listening to some good music, spending time with good people that get you a little bit away, go to the movies, go to some other cultural event or whatever, something that gets your mind off triathlon and get your tension level down. Um, if you're on the other hand, not as excited as you should be, 
um, which would probably be the, the very few number, um, you can do it differently. You can come late and you can uh, have details that are not fixed or you can listen to loud music or people or music that gets you turned on or whatever. That is a different approach. But just know that you can use different tools in terms of controlling the level you have of nervousness and tension um, before you enter the race. And that goes for the day before and it goes for the morning before you set out uh, to, do, to do the race. And hopefully by now you will have all your training in the bank, you will have done all your preparations, and basically you can just look forward to do uh, what you set out to do. And you've set yourself an amazing challenge. You're out for probably one of the best or, or most fantastic experiences in your life. And because you've done all the hard, hard work, all that's left to do is just to enjoy it and really just feel happy that you're able to do what you do. And, and remember to cherish that feeling in the days and the weeks and just in life in general that being happy about that you're a positive person that can go out and, and, and compete in a challenge like that, that's fantastic. Um, with that said, have that mindset and, and go ahead with the final preps for the race.